Hi, L. David Lights Photography. This is Dave. And uh, this is a, con a continuation of Photoshop Elements Eyes Back Into a Picture. And if you look here, we have a second layer. Uh, turn off the layer. You can see that his eyes were closed. We copied another patch into the eyes. Okay, from and um, from a different picture. And now uh, I'm going to flatten this layer by going up to Layer, Flatten Image. Uh, I'm going to come down here and make a duplicate layer. And I'm going to just drag this up to this box up in the right. It says Create a New Layer. And we've duplicated the layer. And we're going to work and do our retouching on it. Okay, I'm going to come in here and do Window Navigator. Um, so I can zoom in and stay on the same tool. And uh, I'm going to use the Clone Stamp tool. Come up and get a soft brush. Click on Soft when it looks soft. You can adjust your pixels or your, or your brush size here. Um, make it larger. Uh, I prefer to use the left and right bracket keys on my keyboard. And then make sure the opacity is low, around 20% uh, that we're going to copy from. So I'm going to come down here and to his acne, zoom in a little more. What you do with the clone tool is you hold the Alt key down in a, in a clear area, which you're going to copy from, hover over the area, and then click uh, with the mouse until the area goes away that you don't like. And uh, you can just copy from different areas. I, and you can see the little X is the copied area. The circle is the uh, retouched area. And I'm going to go very fast here for video. Uh, what you want to make sure that you do is click and not drag. Okay, I'm going to make a bigger brush here. I'm going to get some of this chin, acne on the chin. Here, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going very fast here because of the video. Okay. And we're going to zoom in on. There's a spot on the eye um, when we pasted it in right here. If you can see that, that um, we need to patch up. So we're going to click an area and go very fast over this. And I'm just clicking from different areas. You might even click from dark areas so he doesn't look too, you know. Um, actually, I like it lighten it a little bit at the same time. So I'll use a light. I'll click from a lighter area, not a darker. Area. If you want it to be dark, you click from a darker area. If you want it to be light, or if it starts getting too light, then you click from a darker area. Uh, a sample, I should say, from a darker area. Okay, that's not too bad. We need a little more. Okay, and under the eyes, uh, I want to I want to soften these dark uh, lines. So again, we're going to do the same thing here, and I going very fast for video. And when you make a print, sometimes after you retouch the face, you can notice that you retouch because it softened a certain area. So what I'm going to show you also is how to put a soft focus effect on a face and this is very attractive on women especially so I'm going to do it on this male here okay so we pretty much got that done so we're going to zoom out this is a technique I learned from Monty Zucker a famous wedding and portrait photographer who learned it from Eddie Tapp this is a soft focus effect and um, what we're going to do is come over to the lasso tool. Make sure um, you're on um, about five to eight pixels. And we're going to click and drag around the face on the, on the skin. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we can put the soft focus over our retouch. OK. And so we're gonna, after we've done that, we come up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. 
and you can really put it on thick here, but uh, <laughs> I am going to do it a little bit more than you would for a male, but uh, you want to do a, set it a little more than you would uh, normally do. So I'm going to set about, uh, I'm going to say about four here. That's a little too much. But you do, you want to set it a little bit more than you normally would because you're going to remove some of that when you come over to the blend mode. And we're going to go darken 40% on the opacity. And that's going to draw it back a little bit, that soft focus. OK, so now we're going to make and drag a second layer from this layer, this soft focus, make a second soft focus layer. And we're going to change the blend mode to lighten and set the opacity to 60%. Okay, so we've got this soft focus. Now we want to come over to the eraser tool. And here you can set it 100%. I'm going to zoom in. And what you want to do is erase around the eyes. So I'm on the top layer right now, soft focus layer. Eyebrows, nostrils, and the mouth. If he has any jewelry, like, you know, nose ring or something, you would erase around that. Go down to the lower layer. Same thing. Eyes. See how it's sharpening up around the eyes? Eyebrows. Just the nostrils. And the mouth. Okay. So now we're going to um, zoom back out. I'm going to remove my marching ants by going select, deselect. And there we have the retouch face. And uh, to show you before and after, click off these two soft focus filters. There was the before, and here's the after. Um, and you would want to flatten that layer. So we go to Layer, Flatten. And from there, you would go ahead um, and uh, save it and go ahead and print it. And so that's my technique. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave L. David Likes Photography.